Hey guys, and welcome to another Let's Play. I thought just for fun, let's try out Resident Evil Director's Cut, considering it's now available on PlayStation 4 and 5. Uh, let's have a fun run, because a while ago when we finished, uh, <laughs> probably quite a while ago now, when we finished Arranged Mode, we did say that we would come back to this and try the other version of Arranged Mode, um, where you get double the ammo. So let's go for that and uh, it shouldn't take us too long to get through this game and we can just really see how this emulator on the PlayStation 4 slash 5 actually works. Uh, I still got my PS4 Pro, I will probably get a PlayStation 5 one day but I don't really care too much about a PlayStation 5 right now to be honest. Uh, that and the fact that they're borderline impossible to find. Um, I'll probably end up getting one when uh, the slim model comes out. Because I don't know if you've seen a PlayStation 5, but I don't know where the fuck I'd put it. <laughs> On my recording shelf or under my TV where I have a tiny little um, glass shelf to put my consoles. Yeah, it, it's not fitting in there, Chief. I can barely fit a PlayStation 4. My PS4 have to, has to go in at an angle. So, yeah, PlayStation 5, no chance. Um, anyway, so here we are, Resident Evil, Director's Cut. Um, we're going to go New Game. We're going to go Advanced, and if you hold um, right, it goes green, and we get twice the ammo. Um, because for me, that is the definition of a fun run, you know, actually like having fun with the game and just blasting through it, killing all the enemies. Uh, I'm curious to see, like, double the ammo, man. That's just, <sighs> I mean, there was kind of plenty of ammo anyway. So, I mean, it's still, um, as far as I, Ugh, be smart. Oh yeah. And of course you got the weird, yeah, cause you can rewind time which actually is quite cool we can just rewind <laughs> and skip that um uh video sequence so advanced we yeah so we get double ammo we still get um everything's mixed up uh and there's still double the enemies or whatever it was um but here we go let's go let's play some resident evil if this works out this will be the way i play resident evil director's cut in the future you hear that sony you supply the game on a modern platform, people will play it. Crazy, right? This keeps us off the actual uh, emulators. Although I'm very interested to see how this stacks up against Duck Station because Duck Station is so good. But nothing beats playing the game on an actual console for me. Uh, unless they brought this out and uh, we got a proper PC uh, release of the original game. <laughs> Yeah, I know. Um, right, so who should we play as first? I think we do Chris first. I think we did. Because we always do Jill first, don't we? At least, I'm pretty sure we always do Jill first. Let's do Chris first. I don't really like playing as Chris, if I'm honest. Because I hate the fact that we have the small keys. Um, and the tiny inventory. But, you know, let's go. So we have save states as well, so we won't need to use ink ribbons. Which is always a bonus. Let's see how the videos play. Alpha team is flying around the forest zone, situated in northwest Raccoon City, where we're searching for the helicopter of our compatriots, Bravo team who disappeared during the middle Chris, of our mission. You found it? No, I haven't found it yet. Bizarre murder cases have recently occurred in Raccoon City. There are outlandish reports of families being attacked by a group of about 10 people. Victims were apparently eaten. Bravo team went to the hideout of the group and disappeared.
It was Bravo Team's helicopter. Nobody was in it. But strangely, most of the equipment was still there. However, we soon discovered why. members left now. Captain Wesker, Jill, and myself. We don't know where Barry is. Chris Redfield. Jill Valentine. Yeah, she's like a 17-year-old girl in this who really didn't want to be there. Barry Burton. Ah, uh, yes. He was like a Canadian teacher or something. Rebecca Chambers. Albert Wesker. Oh man. I used to have my Resident hair like that all the time. Oh. You can't see the huge smile that's on my face right now. Um, right, where they thought it was safe. But it's never safe. Not in the world of Resident Evil. Actual Resident Evil. I don't know what happened. Barry! Where's Barry? <laughs> well, I'm sorry, but he's probably... <laughs> no. What is that? I'll go and check. Okay, Jill and I will stay in the hall in case of an emergency. Chris? Take care. You've got to love the dialogue in this game, the badly translated dialogue. We'll stay in the main hall. In case of an emergency. Uh, you know, like the emergency that we're having. Yeah, let's go send the guy without a gun. Because somehow he probably dropped the gun opening the door. I don't know. Uh, anyway, a dining room. Let's go and advance. Let's have a good look around. Yep, so there should be a, um emblem there. But it's not there because we're playing the arranged mood. Which is excellent. Alright, well, let's go see one of the most iconic cutscenes in video game history. Alright, a chief. Having a bit of a snack. Poor Kenneth. Oh my god. You know, that freaked me out so much as a kid. It was absolutely bonkers. Uh, you know what, we'll come back and see him later. <clears throat> now, I am rusty. Uh, I haven't played Resident Evil Director's Cup since we uh, recorded it. I did, when this first dropped, played uh, like the first uh, half hour of the game or so, played as Jill, just to see what it was actually like. And I've come away, you know, pretty impressed with the emulation. It's not bad, considering this is Sony we're talking about, and they don't really give two shits and a fuck about their back catalogue. Whisker? Jill? What 
happen to Jill and Wesker? What indeed, Chris? What happened to Jill and Wesker? Well, first things first, let's go grab up Jill's gun. Yeah, with uh, Jim Ryan uh, in control of Sony at the moment, I literally cannot believe we've um, got emulation on the PlayStation 4 for PlayStation 1 and 2 games. I mean, admittedly, it is the most pathetic handful of titles you could imagine. Like, it's embarrassing. Um, on the PS3, there was well over 100 PlayStation 1 games to download. On the PlayStation 3. Oh, by the way, they're all gone now. Um, and we've only got, like, the 9 that's available on, on the PlayStation 4 and 5 now. Oh, I don't know. Anyway, that is a very high quality gun model of the Beretta. A Beretta M92FS Automatic Custom Edition. Yes, it is. Anyway, let's go 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 back see our zombie friend and take the ammo. Um, there's some herbs there, but we don't want them. We're not going to need them. So the emulation, like everything, looks nice and crisp. It runs okay. It runs. Better than I would have thought because playing this on an original PlayStation, uh, I did do that a few months ago. Um, actually, yeah, I did play about halfway through this uh, a few months ago, actually. Well, uh, around Christmas time, I think it was. So, yeah, actually, like over half a year ago now. Um, it. It, obviously, it runs fine on the original PlayStation. You know, it's an original PlayStation and Saturn game. Uh, you'd expect it to. But it is slow and heavy. Uh, and there's plenty of drop frames and things. Um, it's Keith from Star's Bravo team. Now he's become a mere shadow as former self. Yes, quite. Uh, but of course, there's none of that here, which I'm you know, quite impressed about, to be honest, because, I mean, it's Sony, you know they're going to be putting in the most bare bones minimum effort possible, um, and, you know, I went into this emulator expecting it to be awful, and it's not, it, you know, it really isn't, it's way better than what we got for the PlayStation 3, and the PSP, um, you know, which was a very bare bones emulator, but it worked. You know, the fact that they bothered giving us save states and a rewind feature. Uh, I mean, save states, I suppose they kind of had to give us those. Re well, I suppose they didn't really have to give us save states, but they did. But the rewind feature is quite nice as well. The, ooh, no. And we've got some visual options as well. Uh, we do have some visual presets. They don't really seem to do much of anything, to be honest. It's very basic. Default and modern are basically the same thing. I did see that on um, Digital Foundry. Uh, and we've, we can change some aspect ratios and things, and we can view the controls there, which... Mm. Uh, and that is basically it. Uh, the game is up quite nicely. Uh, obviously, there's not a lot they can do with the static backgrounds because unless you're running a filter over them, which you can do on some of the PC emulators, but then they kind of look like shit. Uh, there's not a huge amount they could do. Character models look quite nice. But the PlayStation had an issue with its floating point calculations or, well that uh, lack thereof, there, there, which is why you see pixels and textures warping into each other all the time. Now, Duck Station has a fix for this. Um, so it actually corrects all the geometry uh, with some fantastic results. You can see like Chris's textures and polygons clipping into, into his actual character model quite obvious. Now that's accurate. That happened on the original PlayStation. It was really bad for it. Duck Station clears all of that up. This emulator obviously doesn't, but it's it's not a big thing. I mean, it is accurate. Hey, Forrest. How you doing, buddy? Look at all this ammo we got. 90 bullets already. Madness. Right, well, I'm going to need to take that key off your hands, Forrest. 
Ah, he seems to be a little bit grumpy about that. Sorry, pal, but I need that key. Cheers, buddy. I'm just gonna put you out of your misery. Now, unfortunately, Chris does not get the bazooka. Uh, unlike Jill. I think it would have been fun to see Chris with a bazooka. I, I think you can mod it in in certain PC versions. And um, I think this PlayStation backwards compatibility effort is our best shot, to be honest, at getting the actual uh, original trilogy back in a modern way. Because while Sony's busy gutting the PlayStation 3 store, the only thing you can really do if you want to play the modern games is um, fire up an emulator, really. The original trilogy. I know we've had the remakes. I know that. But the original trilogy of games are still really good. And I love this handgun. It has a small chance to decapitate. Oh, yeah. If they're not on the screen, they're not activated. It has a small chance to decap, and I love that. Oh, it's so satisfying. Every time it happens, there's something so deliciously satisfying about it. The head pop in the original trilogy. Some of the most satisfying head pops in gaming. Anywho, let's keep exploring. I suppose we'll reload. We're not really going to run out of ammo or anything silly like that. You have used the mansion key. Excellent. Let's go have a look at another couple of characters. Yeah, so why they they never brought the uh, the original trilogy back to Steam or anything like that, I don't know. Because they're still worth playing. Who are you? I'm Chris of Alpha Team. I've come to rescue you. Richard, what happened? Chris... This house is too dangerous. There are terrible demons. Demons, Ouch. you say? Richard, Ouch. don't talk. He seems to have been bitten by a poisonous snake, but the size of the wound is abnormally large. It's not just a poisonous snake. It's a monster. <gasps> a monster. Richard, he needs serum, but we left it in another room. Okay, I'll go. <laughs> we Hurry, left. Please. We left it in another room. I will. Wait here. I'll what? be back soon. <laughs> yeah, he's not actually going to tell us which room it is. Just yeah, we left it in another room. Let's hope we don't run into any demons along the way. That'd be terrible. Okay, so Chris's psycho powers tell him exactly where we need to go, which is handy if you've never played the game before. Uh, so we don't actually have to meet uh, Rebecca there as Chris. We can go this way instead to the actual room that the serum's in. In which case, when we find um, Rebecca, or where we would have found Rebecca there with our injured fellow, um, Rebecca won't actually be there and our injured fellow will be dead. Yeah, Richard uh, won't survive at all. So there are some variations with how you play, which is interesting. All right, let's just finish up these demons. This demon, we should be able to use the knife. Because this demon isn't smart enough, or shouldn't be smart enough, to go round. As far as I know, you are actually on a time limit to do this. But, you know, it's... It's kind of generous. As long as you don't really screw up, I think you're okay. The knife seems to be doing a pretty good job against that guy too. Surprisingly good. Right, let's put some more ammo in here. Right, let's shove this statue down, which we can see it's holding one of the uh, crests that we will need. Not holding the jewel, which it uh, is during the non-arranged mode. <clears throat> yeah, so like I was saying, with like remasters and remakes are strange things. Um, for instance, The Last of Us 
uh, remake for the PlayStation 4. And yeah, well, I guess you could call it the remaster. And I know they're remaking it again for the PlayStation 5. Because fuck it, why not, I guess. Oh, nice. But there's literally no reason to go back and play the PlayStation 3 version. Uh, unless that's the only version you have, which is fine if that's the case. But the PlayStation 4 version renders that obsolete. Now, I'd say the same um, with another example, the Spyro tr uh, trilogy. Like, there's no reason to go back and play the original um, PlayStation versions of the Spyro trilogy, unless, again, they're the only versions that you do have or you want that specific nostalgia hit, because the remakes surpass them in every way. Uh, the remake is kind of like how you remember it as a kid, for instance. All right, come on, let's get into the infirmary. But with these games, although we've got Remake 2, Remake 3, which wasn't very good, let's be honest, um, and the Resident Evil 1 remake, which is basically more of a reboot anyway. Let's pull this stuff back. There's the original trilogy still has value because it, they're, not, they're not the same game as the remakes at all. You know, like Spyro, which is exactly the same as the remake. Or, um, like I said, Last of Us, the, the HD remaster. Uh, and even go as far as saying the medieval remake. Now, if we wanted, we could actually just keep that serum and put it in the box for ourselves. We don't have to give this to Richard, but we'll be good. We'll help our friend out. Hey, Mutt. Damn Cerberus. Bloody Mutt. Trying to ruin my day. That's what you get for bringing a pack of sausages with you, Chris. Uh, yeah, so like I say, the original trilogy still has value, and people would buy it as well. I would. Would I pay, I don't know, £10 per game, or me? Would I honestly pay £40? Let's go nuts with it. For a proper upscale trilogy of the original games. Yeah, absolutely I would. Especially if they added, like, you know, cleaned up the visuals, get us up to a nice 4K resolution. Let's let's go mad. Let's say they... they Put them up to 60 FPS and added a nice arrange mode. Like, how much work, honestly, could that be? And it would sell. Alright, you're not going to sell 10 million copies of it, of course, but you're going to make your money back. But no. I mean, especially if they went the extra mile with it, which, again, we're talking Capcom here, so don't hold your breath. Um, but if they made it so like the un uh, the N64 version was unlockable, or they made Resident Evil 1.5 like unlockable, um, you know, <sighs> we can dream. So anyway, this back and pat mode is our best chance to get Resident Evil 1, 2, and 3 uh, in some form on modern consoles. And as I said, it's not bad. Here's the serum. Is he all right? Yes, he is. Thanks. Richard, hold on. I'll give you a shot now. Thank you. Chris, Chris, here's a radio. Take it. Thanks, buddy. Richard! No! Richard! Rebecca, be careful. Ugh. Rest in pepperoni, Richard. Richard! Richard! Are you... Rebecca, it's very dangerous out here. Will you come with me? I... I'd like to stay here a little bit longer. Okay, Rebecca. Can you use a gun? <laughs> I'll look for the others. Protect yourself. Chris, be careful, please. I like the way he Chris asks Rebecca if she can use a gun. He is a member of Stars, 
Uh, she is a member of Stars. She's like the chief careful, mechanic slash uh, medic of the team. You know, she's not just a medic. She's a member of Stars. Um, so that's always made me laugh. Also, <clears throat> um, they kind of retconned the whole Resident Evil Zero into the storyline. So uh, at this point in the game, she's already been through the whole business with Billy Cohen and fought off the leech monsters and Edward and all that lot. So <laughs> it always makes me laugh. Obviously, they had no concept of that when this game was actually made. But uh, it still makes you laugh, makes you think. Uh, right, let's go and get another crest, shall we? You have used the mansion key. Yes, we have. We like using the mansion key. Okay, so this puzzle's very different in the remake as well. It's more of a puzzle in the remake. But I kind of prefer this, to be honest. Just two simple statues. If you don't do the right thing, you get gassed. But, you know, we're veterans around here. There's a switch. Will we push it? Alright. We shall. And that gives us... Oh, that's not the crest, is it? It's the emblem that we need. Ah, you see, my memory is foggy. Right, let's grab up that. Okay, now, let's go through the library. And unlock the other save room. We're going to have a few zombies to waste... Uh, sorry, demons to waste along the way as well. And you know, the, uh, the atmosphere in this game, it still holds up. It absolutely holds up. In that deliciously cheesy... Oh, that way, yes. Uh, always enjoy going back through Resident Evil 1. Director's Cut. Botany book about medicinal herbs. As you may know, there are many plants that have medical effects. Uh, since ancient times, humans have been healing wounds and diseases using various plants. In this book, we're going to sample three herbs that grow around Raccoon Mountains. Oh, the Raccoon Mountains, and give their outline as examples of those plants with uh, medicinal properties. Each herb has uh, different colours and different effects as medical plants. The green one recovers physical strength, the blue one neutralises natural toxins, whilst the red herb does not have any effect by itself. The red herb is only effective when it is mixed with other herbs. For example... If you mix this herb with the herb that recovers physical strength, the recovery effect will be tripled. By adjusting the amount and experimenting with these three herbs, you can create various kinds of medicines. But I'll leave the details in your hands, because that's the best way to acquire true knowledge. So, there we go, botany book. Lovely. Right, let's unlock this door and step on through to the other side. Hopefully there's not going to be any demons on the other side. Oh, dear. You right there, Chief? There you go. Got the cure to what ails you. This one... No, he's actually dead. Okay, I thought he was pretending. See, these zombies, they're sly. They do a lot of pretending. Come on, dude. Come on. Come take a bite of this steak. There we go. Popped his brains out all over the place. Uh, actually, what have we like? Uh, we ain't got any storage left, so let's go downstairs. Let's go tease this little dickhead out. There we go. See if we can pop his head off. Nope, but we blew his arm off. Surprisingly gory as well for the... Well, I suppose there's quite a lot of gory games back then. It wasn't really gore that was the issue. It was uh, bad language that was a no-no. Uh, we don't need to cl check the clip. Actually, a magazine, but okay. You would know that, Chris, if you was a expert. There is a difference between clips and magazines. Right, let's go down. Now, another thing that I would like them to add to this emulator would be uh, to fast forward. That would be a pretty cool trick. Because that's something that I've grown to really appreciate. 
on modern emulation. Come on, Zeds. Have some scientist Zeds. I would say they've lost a significant portion of their intelligence. Ooh, head splodge. Having said that, they were involved with this T-virus project, so how smart could they genuinely be? Come on, dude. There you go. Oh, lovely. You know, that um, head splodge isn't quite as rare as I thought it was. Which is fun. Ah, the broken shotgun. Yes, because we don't have Barry to save us. Right, let's start chucking down some herbs. Uh, we don't need that either. Put that up there. Uh, let's go. We'll put the broken shotgun away as well. Just because. We're trying to keep the place nice and tidy. Wouldn't want anybody trying to escape from a demon now and trip and fall over a broken shotgun. Okay. Now, let's put a bullet in there. Okay, cool. So, let's go back upstairs. 